Right. And welcome back again. Oh my god, that man died. Round two for this uh, Smoke and Steel event. In, uh, let's see, it is once more SB versus A 8th Alabama. Um, so that will be, um, looks like Zapster again. Uh, versus is 8th Alabama, who's being led by Ryder. Uh, looks like we got a couple guests again in here. We got Bradley from the dev team, and Cody was in here as well. Doing some spectating, so looking forward to seeing uh, the product that comes after that. Comes out of his, uh, what he makes. He always makes good products. I don't know. That was a weird fucking sentence I was trying to say there. What the fuck? All right. It must be Wednesday. All right, so it is a Pry 4, 288 on the server pop, 142 on the CSA versus 146 Man, the on the Union. Get that guy out of here. All right, we will see. It's a lot. Oh, that already coming in already. And they had main nice. targeted, and they caught some of the units coming out of it. That's some BS right Mike, there. Sure. You. Taste copper. Sure, I'm feeling a little bit woozy. And off they go, getting over the water. Holy water you can see the water mechanics as they go. I ain't going back through. I ain't going back through that. Except river. for that guy who's kind of gliding. I'm gliding. They gotta come over here anyways. All right, so we'll see. Looks like so far a decent amount of uh, CSA on Artie. See if they can make it worth it in a linear defense here by the CSA team with one flanking element out here, kind of guarding the left flank. We will see where the Union wants to set up their attack. I think I'll be alright with that. Yeah, 59th moving up a little bit here. Well, so far it looks like the Union's actually happy to kind of shoot it out on the fence out here. Um, I am concerned about the CSA's ability to target these positions with Artie. Uh, we will see if that fear is justified or not. I do like the positioning here that um, Tucor has a little bit off the fence here. Everybody comes up on the fence and they get this like great cover here. It, it, it's it's minimal. It, it does a little bit, but it, a it'll get destroyed here very quickly. And b you know it, it, it you know it's a little you know you still get cover if you step behind it a little bit. And you actually might get a little bit more cover, which is, you know a little bit lower in the uh, into the road, so it's a slightly harder shot for Artie. around here to see if I see too many already shots hitting. Here a lot going off here. Alright, well, these guys have brought the already up to a forward position so they can engage the CSA. Now, I have seen people bring already all the way down the road as well. Looks like the CSA is redeploying some infantry over to the Artie side here to deal with a uh, element from the Union here. That is the first Delaware. Um, but these guys are about to get caught out here. Uh, it's a little bit too late. See if they can get away. Eh, a couple of them got away. That already shot hit. Eh, a couple of them got away. More than a couple, actually. Good number of them. Still, that's a lot of tickets I'd be careful about. But, you know, draw out the Artie, draw out the infantry, as you saw. Get the Artie to get hit. You know, get them in a position where Artie can hit them. Infantry support to Artie, as I would call it. Not a bad idea. Here we got Riley <laughs> and the uh, 10th US. I'm kind of curious that not in an open order here. He might be moving. Okay, he's moving out. That's why. I'm like, why isn't he in open order? That's because he's moving. So far, the CSA is, uh, looks like they're out shooting the Union. Got uh, the 12th VA. Yeah, Artie's putting in some heavy work right now. Yeah, 
You can see this full battle line here that the CSA has. Stretching all the way out here. Yeah, fill in the... Now, let's see, if I was to attack it, the problem is the out-of-bounds here. So, like, you know, normally you'd be like, okay, I come to this road here. But the out-of-bounds kind of restricts you a little bit. Um, I'd be curious to see where the Union decides to wait their attack. <laughs> FSB getting hit hard here. I don't know about standing out in this oh, open. They're a little oh, bit clumped up as well. Run back to the fence. Run! Okay. Bring loads, bring loads. Yeah. And gotten back. Oh, Another forward movement again. Is this the first Delaware again? Yes, it is. Here. Your Everett. Yeah, I mean, if the intent is to draw out the CSA so Artie can hit him, that's not a bad idea. I just, I'm very concerned about how many tickets that might cost you. But as long as you you know what you're doing, it's it's not a bad move. Just gonna be very careful doing it. Uh, the Union is falling behind on tickets, and you can see what's, you know, I was talking about that fence earlier. And you can see what's happening to it. And you can see. Still get hit. Um, yeah, some of the NCOs have sharps, yeah. Yep. Not covered. My problem with the Union attack right now is it's not really concentrated, and the CSA is outgunning them at the moment here. And the problem is, so one of the things for the Union you got to keep in mind is they only have three units right now. One, two, three. And one of them is Cav. So really it's two units here. So really it's two units versus three. I mean, two units versus four. We'll say two and a half. And so they're getting a lot more respawns in than the, uh, the other team is. You know, you also have a very, so far, that CSA already has not been really restrained at all. And the CSA shooting well, and the formation is pretty good. They're not really losing. I'm not seeing too many holes get punched into these lines here. So I think the CSA Union is going to have to figure out another strategy. I think right now they maintain what they got at the 36-minute mark here. They are in some trouble. In fact, it looks like they are starting to make a move, but it's only one bayonets, unit. Get your bayonets, get your I don't know if a single demonstration by one unit out here will be sufficient. But it is Zap, and he is going to try to take these rocks. Uh, I think he's going to find himself uh, attrited very quickly here doing this. He's going to get hit by multiple angles in a locking fields of fire here. And I think they're just going to melt him very quickly. But we will see. He's got some support coming up from JD and some other okay So some other forward elements here from the Union are moving up to support so that is good So he might be able to sustain himself a bit longer there now that it's a full Union move up here So with that okay, it is a full movement forward here Now that they're getting a little bit closer They might be able to start out shooting the CSA here a little bit and you can see the CSA is scrambling behind to find some better cover I don't know if the Union's actually doing better than it was in that previous position here. Again, I do the flag so I can see kind of how many people are going down. I know it doesn't look as cinematic, but, um, you know, we're going to have Cody stuff anyway, so we're going to have cinematic stuff come out. <laughs> this might not be my stuff, but his stuff will be... Uh, you know, at least get that angle of it. Space over to the right. Spread out on the right. Whoops, I'm Yankee. Oh, 
Yep, and they are deciding to pull it out, but I think that's the right decision by Zap. You know, I don't, I don't think that attack really was helping you at all, and there's no point in throwing good tickets after bad. So good job, I think, uh, making that call, trying to figure out another angle to do. Switch sides, switch sides. Looks like some counter batteries hit the Union as well. Alright, so I shall, right? Let me know if you need to be moved. Not easy to pull off of an attack. It's good. Ready. The other guns got. Yeah, like. A, yeah. Um, it was on, but uh, looks like just knockdowns, not actual kills. It's because you guys are close. Shell to one. Hit. Shell coming to one. We love you guys. We love yeah, you. They're all going. They're all going to the right side. Least, hey guys, great work you doing. Yep, so the Union work, is work. reforming, moving part. on to the right side. They might try and attack on the other way, but the CSA is moving to Mira and stage for that. The problem with that is that will put them very much in the guns of the CSA here. And uh, let's see how we're doing on ammo, for example. It's still doing okay here, 33 minutes. Uh, yeah, a little bit worse. Plenty of ammo on that guy. Shell in hand. Oh, plenty of ammo. Oh, you got plenty of ammo still. Here. Seen him move in and, in and out. Up those stage they're, def they're definitely hiding behind that fucking hill. I know that for sure. Yeah, they are. Too low. You are right, sir. And you don't want to waste your ammo, so if they're hiding and you can't hit them, there's no point in sending, uh, you know, shots out. You could hang out and wait. I still see them moving right. Oh, I see him. Oh, shit. I think they saw you too. I think they saw you too. I'm still alive. I never fucking died. It's always him. We're on the main road right now. Fuck you. Yeah. Might be able to get him. Yeah, move me. Yep, yeah, there you go. Whoa, I'm down the road right now. There they are, there they are, in the open. There you are, yeah. Alright, let's check out and see what we're doing over here from the infantry side. Okay, we gotta kill him. Again, very robust here, very concentrated force here for the CSA. Got CB moving up, but a concentrated attack by the Union. Going through the point. This will be interesting here. That already coming in. That's what you want. That concentrated already barrage into the uh, path that the Union was going. Excellent use of artillery there by the CSA team. And that has really broken up this attack by the Union. We'll see if it can still go through. So they've kind of moved over to the side here. and They're going to slam the weight into the CQB try to move up this flank. That's not a bad idea for an attack. And kind of roll up the flank here. We'll see if it works. I don't know if it's got enough steam after that already. And is this a counterattack? It is. 12 VA doing a counterattack into the flank of the Union. Come here, Blake. Come here. Come here. I don't have a yard. Come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I hate you. Yeah. Yeah. Watch out. Get back on the ground. Oh, you got me, bitch. Press T. Don't team kill. Unless you're a Yankee, then you team kill. Beautiful. Yee, 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 Hey, you're the last soldier. And that was a successful defense by the CSA. Uh, they're about, I'd say, a little over half. 
Morale State ahead of the Union here. At 29 minutes, it's still battle ready. A very good position right now for the CSA. What's, what's going on? See what the next uh, theory of attack is from the Union. I don't, I, I don't know. I just got fucking clapped with the, with, the, with an artillery. I don't know what's going on. I have brain damage. In real oh, everyone's at spawn. Uh. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Oh. There are three skirmishers doors at the northwest. A canister coming in there? It's a little bit low, didn't really do too much damage to those guys. See, there's no point in shooting already at these few little guys here. This is a waste of canister, in my opinion. You're not really killing anybody. And, and you know... This is, I, I would say that's not a good job on the Union already. If, if these guys, the MSG, is drawing four or five cannon shots and you're killing three or four of them, maybe? That's a waste of your artillery. No! Don't just shoot at what's in front of you. You got to figure out what's decisive. No, 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 like the CSA right showed you how to do it not too long ago. I think it's important, is what you're telling me. Kind of. Uh, hey, Twink, you want to make sure I'm looking at the right spot? Yeah. <laughs> is, is it up high or down low? Oh, gun one, shell on the way. You want to do your range, probably about 310. Three yeah, I want about 310. Three those guys are still there, after all that, the MSG. What was your elevation on that shot, do you remember? Uh, I put it to, like, one, uh... No, leave, leave the elevation, like, negative two, negative whatever. Whatever you've been using to hit the road, one. Time is not really on the, it's kind of getting away from the Union a little bit here. At 27 minutes, you see it's still battle ready. Well, keep in mind and they're falling behind on morale so state, you can see they're almost... I'm saying half, yeah, that's, god, close to three quarters, I would say. Hand. CSA, again, is doing an excellent job of mutual support. They're winning these gunfights, and so far they've been winning these charges, too. What's the name of this sh uh, We don't have a name for this shot. Never mind. They're going left. They're going left. You're going to try left again. Look, you can um, see them all. You can see them all moving. Yep. Yeah, I see them. Hard left. Traverse the guns hard left. Hard left. Far left road shots. Far left road shots. Get those see, a very good, good job here by this commander. Uh, no, they're going through the bush. The bush. It's a splitter here. He's kind of trying to anticipate where the uh, Union is moving and getting the guns in position to aim at it. Aim for the bush. Aim for the bush. You know, aiming at where they're going to be, not where they are. Right through that bush. Fucking kill them all. Yep. You heard them. They're coming through the bush. They're coming through the bush in front of point. All of them. Let's see. Here comes the Union attack. Again, I, I think it's a little bit too spread out here. So one thing I would say is you need to concentrate before you go in for a charge like this. I mean, maybe you're trying to get some time in here, but... This is a very spread out charge here. They're going to crest this hill and get nailed. Here they come, here they come, here they come. Here they come. Fire, Independent fire is what you want right now, not a volley. And that's what they're doing. Oh, who's this over here? This CQB dealing with another element on this side. Again, it's a very spread out. Look how spread out this charge is. These tickets are going to be, you know, out of line, you know, skirmishings as they're going in. Versus the CSA, which is very concentrated. And you can see they're just getting buzzed. The Union's just getting buzzsawed here. This is... Now, they did keep the cavalry at the back, which is what you want to do, and kind of bring these pistols to bear. But, um... It's, it's, it's not... You know... It's not great. Got enemies to the right. Enemies now they the did right. succeed in winning that fight. Now they can wipe out this element here. This might be a good opportunity for the Union to get some of these tickets back. And I would say you want to wipe that element out before CSA reinforcements come in. And you can also knock out two of the CSA flags back there. 
To the northeast! Pick your targets, boy! Aim at the waist! Aim at the waist! Yeah, see, eventually these guys are going to reconstitute here and hit you in the flank. I, I would say you need to wipe this out before then. And I don't know if shooting is going to do it. They're shooting them out. They're doing a pretty good job here. But again, I'm just worried it's going to take too long here. Oh, this, I don't... What is this going on here? You don't want to... Oh, womp. Okay, stop here and shoot, Womp Womp. That is what you want to do. Yes, yes. Yeah, you, you don't want to go out there, guys. That This is... this is They're getting out of here. They got shot to pieces. And the CSA did not take out that element on top of the hill before that element got defeated. This is going to be a great opportunity here for the Union now. They're still behind on tickets, but they're starting to capture some positions here. The key for the CSA, I would say, now is reconsolidate, not kind of lose their, you know, cohesion. Which you kind of saw a little bit as they're running back and forth here. We'll see if they can regain command and control. You have one Union element. This is two core. Their archer here is going to move all the way out here. Try to get some flank and fire. Stupid son. Union has, with that successful attack, the Union has made up a lot of ground here. You see they've now reconstituted and they're kind of pushing over to this right a little bit more. You know, they mass up for another good charge here. They may be in a great position to continue to even up these tickets and gain some more ground. So maybe it was the right decision to hang out on this hill and shoot out that MSG element. Uh, but, I mean, you lost the hill anyway, though, so I, I, you're, you're in the same position you would have been. And you might have gotten a few more tickets. And I don't think you knocked down any flags. No, you didn't. You didn't knock down any flags. No, no. Now, I do, I do like this angle of attack here, kind of trying to go through the concealment of the bushes. It's not great, but it's the best you probably got. Oh, who's this coming up? It is 10th U.S. trying to get some flank and fire in on him. Now, going in with one unit, I, again, I don't know. You need to kind of press forward with everybody like you did before. If you volley into that bush, you're going to kill them all. Bastard. Kill all them, yeah. Fuck you, you Yankee asshole! Kill all them, yeah. Kill all them, yeah. Yeah, they're in the fucking... In, in the bush, in the bush. Flag down, flag down, flag down. I'm not there. Drop that flag, boys. That flag's retreated. The problem again with shootout is, you know, the, with the flags, it's hard to outshoot them. It's really hard to. Oh shit! As a union. Oh no, you got the flag. Oh, we got a move over here. I didn't get quite see. Good move. Who was this? By Natty. He has cut off the retreat of the Union and done so by occupying this hard point on this rock. And then he's got support here by CB putting in very effective flank and fire and kind of put the Union. Look at the Union now. We'll kind of you know move out here. Look at how they're in this box. The CSA is just going to squeeze. The Union has to charge out of this. Uh, they cannot stay in this box. In fact, that's what they're doing. JD is kind of punched away through. Hey, just oh, okay. No more. And they have now they've got kind of an exit here. And they are going to charge. Um, they might catch the CSA a little bit out of position. This will be a big melee. It might be the right time to charge. The CSA was a little bit out of position, but now that they're charging in, I don't know. Eh, it's going to be close. I mean, you still had to attack out of it. And the CSA 
Stab him up, stab him up. I've already been stabbed in the ass once. <laughs> yeah, I already got TK'd just because I was running back at our line, like chasing some yank. Stay together, stay together, Fuck stay you together. Yank. Get him. We gotta get the flags up, guys. That's very key for this union. And they are not getting those flags up in time. I mean, they were kind of going down anyway, to be honest with you, so I, I can't be too hard on them. But the uh, CSA has won that fight. Well done. Yeah. And uh, critically, the Union is without two of their flags now. That is going to be a problem. You were real close to being dead, though. Good shot. Get that shit. That was Mr. Bryant. Again, if you guys are already and you're shooting at these elements here, you're wrong in my opinion. Such a waste of ordnance. So now we're at 18 minutes. Union is very close to breaking. CSA about, I'd say, three quarters, maybe three, you know, maybe four fifths ahead of them. But um, Union's still not, you know, they still got some options left here. All right. They've shown themselves that they can defeat the CSA in a one-to-one -one charge if the conditions are right. Um, so one of the key things is let's see how we're doing on already managed ammo. Man. Nope, plenty. It's holding all three enemy flags, plenty. so they can't do this. They still got plenty of ammo. So yeah, right now I'd say, the, yeah, the best thing the Union could do is just wait for those flags to despawn. They have enough time that they can afford to lose that, but any attack now without the flags is, is going to fail anyway, and will just bleed your tickets more, so it kind of sucks, but that's all you can do. Uh, you have like two shells left. That's uh, fine. You Use them until I don't have any left. Okay. Roger. Then, actually, hold on. I'm gonna do something here, conveyor. Mm -hmm. It's like a conveyor belt. For it. I don't, I don't okay. Try. Try 315 yards. Same elevation. About negative two elevation. Do we have numbers for that point, Bush? Oh yeah, we do. Which it's... Is point, Bush? What are they called? I drive out on that hill. Guess not. We can just throw some dynamite in the river. Yeah. Yeah, no. Good, good, good. We can just toss bitter in the river. Shooting, they probably they shouldn't. Toss and fix your bank account. You're pretty good at playing the bitch list game. Yeah, so <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Wait, what? Man, these MSG guys have been a headache for the Union this whole time, and they are nailing them on more than one occasion. Let's see, flags still down? Yes, they are. Again, the CSA is doing a good job of making sure that they stay down and are camping them and not just letting them get retaken.
Marcus, we should fall back. All right, yeah, sounds like we'll good. We do not have Pretty the ability to hold them. And the Union is going to attack. Do they have their flags back with them? They do not, because that's, that's a very... Why would you wait this long to charge in without your flags? Union is now on breaking. Here comes... Again, it's a lot of prongs to this attack here. We'll see how well they go. Yankees! Die, you fucking bat! Alright, put Looks like it is working fairly well for the Union. Again, they've shown they can, you know, when they charge, and they're charging together, they can win. They've done it a few times. Oh my gosh, guys, get back over here. And I think they're going to do it again here. They're also catching up on tickets. Now I wonder if the Union is going to just consolidate and shoot for a little bit or are they going to try to wipe out this element on point? I think if they wipe out this element on point, they might get them down to breaking and might be able to cap. It, it, it'd be a very big risk. Uh, that's the call. That's what they're doing. Here's Napster. You know, they could they, they push this right now and catch the seat. Yeah, they push them off here. Now, the key is not to cap until you wipe them out here. Now, good pullback by Natty onto the reverse slope here. Burning hell, abolitionist, I hate your kind. Kill them all. I want slaves to be free. You want them to be free. We are not the same. Stand right here. I got eight spawning. There we go. There we go. Clean these streets up. Where the Rams at? Really? Uh, CSA is now on breaking. So now here's the problem for the CSA. The Zapster made the right call by risking that attack. He won't really have... Oh, what's this? Hold on now. An interception move here by 9th Corps. They've done this before to good effect here. And they have drawn off the 10th U.S. who will defeat them, but they are not going to be in for this main fight. Artie is still making itself felt here. I don't know about charging all the way through. Hey, we got Slater here. Just pay your tariff. All the way to the tree, boys. All the way to the tree. Yeah, I'd, I'd much, I think staying here and fighting it out is much better than charging forward. I think the Union lost a decent amount of tickets doing so. But they're still capping here. And they still might be able to hold out and do it. Union is still capping here, and the CSA has not pushed them off yet. Now, there we go. Now, they're starting to. Yeah. Union is still holding, though. I hate the Declaration of Independence, too. I hate the glorious unions is driven with their blood. I hate the striped banner, I fought it all I could. And the Union is now on final push here. How dare you? As the CSA still tries, this is a knife fight at this end here. And the Union is holding, and I think they might have it here. CSA has gone to the last stand. This might be it. 
And there we go. The Union has pulled it out there, although the CSA gave him a hell of a fight doing it. That was a nail biter. Came down to a couple, man, you know, any and you pick change any one thing. Once the Union started doing some good concentrated attacks, I think that's when they really started, you know, getting their uh getting their game going, you know, trying to do the long distance shootout just wasn't working for them. Uh, but once they got into a close fight, you know, had you know, that's when they started really tearing apart the CSA. But yep, so that is a um, that's a Union win. So that's Sapster winning, and then on the other map it was a CSA win. So that was Eighth Alabama. So a win for each of them. Uh, moving forward here as the season continues. So we will see how it goes, and I will see y'all next time.